Hey, welcome to Happy Little Note Trees. Uh, a little bit of a new setup. Gonna try to do a couple things differently. Just, you know, play that YouTube game. So be sure to like, subscribe. Um, yeah, it's good to be back in front of a mic. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna talk about Dehancer today. Uh, they reached out asking if I would do a review, and I said I would. Um, which I found funny because I have like nobody that follows me. So that's weird. I also declined their offer of an affiliate link uh, just so that it'd be unbiased. So there is no discount code for you and there's no kickback for me on whatever you choose to do with Dehancer. But uh, this is probably the first of a couple exploratory videos maybe on on using it. Uh, I haven't really used it in a grade or anything like that. I had it once as a trial and didn't think that it was worth buying then. And I don't know if I'm committed to buying it now. But the one thing I'll note is we have it installed right here. Uh, all these uh, settings, the scroll just keeps going, but disable all tools. And what we have just going over our footage is a held pattern with blanking so that you can see in our scopes uh, the cube and what is going on. Now, we went into Dehancer, it's currently off, and click Disabled All Tools. There is nothing going on in it, but if you look at the cube, watch what happens when we turn it on. All right, uh, so I have it set up to be going for into saying that the source is DaVinci Wide Gamut Intermediate. So when I turn it on, ooh. So trying to figure out what's going on there, it's when you switch the source to Rec 709, it doesn't do anything. When you do it to Rec 2020, it doesn't do anything. Apple Gamma 20.2 doesn't do anything. Aces, blip. Uh, DaVinci Wide Gamma, it does that. Or Rex DaVinci Wide Gamma, Rex DaVinci Wide Intermediate. So as we cycle through these, what we see is Cineon Filmlog actually doesn't look like it changed much that came in right but with it off and on it says that it works in davinci wide gamut and uses the full breadth of the davinci wide gamut pipeline but it is restricting and putting everything into uh rec 709 primaries and making a huge gamut constriction on your cube and that's with nothing turned on uh so yeah that is just an alarming little bit um, that I'm looking into. Uh, I asked about that and they haven't gotten back to me. They said, they just said, so I would assume it's some sort of weird mathematical leap that does affect your image even when nothing is active. Anyways, continuing on, um, <coughs> when we look at what it does. There are tons of things, and I'm not sure I want to talk about it yet right now. I haven't really gone through it. All I've really done is play around with this feature set right here to see that, yeah, it. when you change this, that is affecting what is going into it. And if we set up, uh, let's just say color space, so DaVinci Wide Gamut, we go from DaVinci Wide Gamut, oh, let's just see, where am I, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so we'll copy, we'll hit serial, we'll hit paste, we'll flip this, let's say we're going from DaVinci Wide Gamut, uh, friend, the guy that I know said try to do this, and the closest that you'll get is copy, we'll just pump that out nothing else going on um, let's see none here let's see what we got going on here what are we doing here what am I doing here so I'm taking it for, oh that's why I do it you like him Why am I getting nothing on my scoop scoop to that? Oh, so it's this sort of a swap piece back to DaVinci Wright. Yeah, with DaVinci Wright anyway. So we set that up. 
you can see here on our cube, we got something going on there. Uh, if we just swap back to what the Hansard's doing. Uh, there we go. Yeah, so if we go, what we see here is this color space goes into P3 D65 to gamma 2.2 using the da Vinci tone mapping and gamut compressing methods of the CST. And then back out, we just flipped it back around and out. And that is very similar, if you look at our plots, to what uh, Dehancer is doing. Now, there are some differences. Obviously, they are not one-to-one, -one, but you can see there's some tweaks to what's going on, but it's very similar. So when you think about what is Dehancer using in terms of its pipeline, it's something like that, uh, P3 D65, Gamma 2. Anyways, that's all that I've really had time to explore on just figuring out what Dehancer does when nothing is supposed to be happening. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. As you can go into Dehancer, there is output, and we can even slide that and look at where is output. And slide that and go, whoa, well, it comes back to being DaVinci Wide Gamut, some sort of mathematical apparatus that they say is different than just using a key output mask and changing the gain on the key output, that it mathematically applies that. And yeah, I had initially thought, yeah, maybe I hear a lot of people like using um, it for a bloom or halation. And so you can see just on that, or even just the grain, so those aspects of it. Uh, but one thing to note is that if you do your transform to Rec 709 before you get to it, you'll be in a good place, uh, I, I think, um, because it's it gives you back Rec 709 primaries pretty much. And there isn't any change to turn it on. Turn it off. Oh, I have grain. I have some settings turned on, so disable all tools. And blah de blah de blah, like that. Yeah, there's no change when you have the input in Rec 7.9. So it's not doing its tone scaling unless you're using a wide gamut. Um, which, yeah, I have some opinions on that. I'm not a, totally sure. Maybe, maybe it's, yeah. At the end of the day, it's kind of like, what, what look are you going for? And does it look good on the screen? Because you've made choices all along the way to getting that image on the screen. And if it does that for you, cool. I just don't like that I can't, I don't have a clean, true clean slate. Like it isn't, the math that it's doing to do, figure out how to do grain or to do bloom isn't done in um, in DaVinci Wide Gamut, uh, which is why, like, if you were to go, oops, turn that off, effects, just pull up, um, start here, blue, grain, like, if you just pop on grain, and just go like that, and go out, and just do that, you know, whatever you want to do, turn it on, turn it off. All that's changing on my cube is the addition of the grain. There is no relative change to it. And so the math that DaVinci Resolve is using in its stock grain is um, in DaVinci Wide Gamut. And the same is going to be said pro about... Um, I can't type F I film look creator. So like the comparable in resolve option of the film look creator, which tries to do like a lot of similar things that it does. So if we just go core look and we go color space, you can change the color space overrides. We'll just say, yeah, just double check, make sure it says it's DaVinci White Gamma, DaVinci White. Intermediate and our output should be the same. Uh, film look blend, cinematic. Um, yeah, there's all these settings. 
and it is doing there is a way to turn it back to default default clean slate there we go um, so yeah hmm input color space so even with Interesting. Oh, that's because I had my noob. Oops, I broke it. That's why. Uh, so yeah, uh, you're not seeing the color space constriction because I don't have, I guess you just turn these on. Nope, not that. Uh, and I XYZ plot, sorry. Uh, so yeah, you can see this is set up to be showing me draw grays, draw spectral locus, draw all the things. Um, when we turn on Film look creator. Oops, and we put it through here. And we set that up like that. See. Right, working primaries. This is the one you like, Gamma. Yeah, it's a film creator. I'm going to investigate that, why it's doing that. But we have that same issue with Dehancer. Uh, everything going back down. And nothing happening there, but if we switch, if we switch the input to DaVinci Wide Gamut, there we go. That is a better visual. Uh, my no bomb scope isn't set up to show that it's getting constricted on the CY plot. You can just see it happening. Bloop, 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 bloop. Bloop, 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 bloop. And there you have it. That's all that I have to say about that. I'm going to go take a nap now. Anyways, this was Happy Little No Trees, trying to just things, make things a little bit more colorful. Uh, <clears throat> looking at the Hanser. Hey, thanks for jumping in. Uh, this is my outro. This is my outros. Uh, hey, thanks for looking at the, this new shortened form vertical content way of doing YouTube. Please like, subscribe, and do all the other things. This is part of a longer video, so... If you want to watch that in horizontal format, it exists as well. Until next time, leave a comment. Let me know what you want to hear. Ta-ta for now.